Hurricane Helene left thousands of homes and businesses in southwest Florida with major flood damage. That's when the garage door broke. This door inside had busted open. Water came really flushing through. Sadly, many of them don't have flood insurance. It depends on if they can afford it or not. That's the whole big thing. So why are people going without it? And is there a chance that people could be required to carry flood insurance just like home insurance? NBC2's Dave Elias, who covers the insurance industry for us, is investigating. Well, estimates say 20% of Floridians do not have flood insurance, and many of them live right here in this North Fort Myers neighborhood that's been hit twice in just the last two years. Some are asking now, is it time to get flood insurance if you don't live in a flood zone, even if you don't have a home loan? This is my parents' home. They've lived here for over 30 years and never had a flood until Ian two years ago. All those years, they never had flood insurance. No. No, my father didn't because, like I said, he it, nothing ever happened here. Until Ian brought three feet of water into the home. This is one of those 50-year storms. FEMA suggested they get flood insurance. Would you take the flood insurance? Um, and so my mom did. Two years later. All right, so you can see it here. Helene left a foot of water in the house. I'm trying to get some stuff done inside. And she's not alone. Her neighbor Lee Murphy and his wife fled when Helene hit and they returned to ruin. And then when we came back, that's when we, all the damage, everything was turned over in the house, refrigerators, stoves, dryers, everything flipped over and uh, a bunch of mud. Retired and on a fixed income, he can't afford any more flooding. When I was working, when we had the money to get it, you know, and we've been doing okay. The question now, should everyone be required to carry flood insurance? Well, it depends on if they can afford it or not. But what makes the tragedy worse is most property owners in those hard hit areas of flooding have no flood insurance. An issue at center stage of the U.S. Senate race. Republican Rick Scott predicts insurance rates will rise. Logically, it's going to go up, right? And so what we've got to figure out is how to uh, how to deal with this and how to make sure we got to recruit more companies. Democrat Debbie Mukarcel Powell wants the federal government to do more. We are going to have to look at federally backed programs to make sure that we bring the investments to rebuild after these hurricanes. Although many residents in North Fort Myers aren't interested in rebuilding again. I think probably five of these neighbors have already decided to get out. Lisa Oliver telling me she and her neighbors will be keeping a very close eye on things this weekend with more rain and the potential for flooding in the forecast. In North Fort Myers, Dave Elias, NBC2.